a very good morning to all the children of our english literature class i hope you all are keeping well and healthy please take care of yourselves and if not necessary please don't leave your house okay so today we will be doing we'll start a beautiful poem and i hope you all love it and this is the last chapter or this is the last lesson of the syllabus before the half yearly okay so let's begin here we will be doing the poem the wind on the hill we will be doing the poem the wind on the hill here the poet wants here the poet tells us about the children who are so curious about the nature the mystery created by the wind and how the wind is felt by the children because we can't see the wind right we cannot see we only can feel it so here the poet has written about the wonders of the child where the wind comes from and where it is heading to all he knows that it blows very fast and it also makes difficult for the people or the children to stand in one place or run or do any playing activity or do anything okay the children also knows that unless we keep a speed with the wind we will fall okay here is a child who blows away very fast the kite and he says to his kite if found will help him trace where all the winds travel to and where it comes will always remains a mystery so this beautiful poem is written by a a milne who was born in january 1882 and died in january 1956 He was an English poet, novelist and playwright. His best known works are his two collections of children poetry where we were young and now we are six. Okay? These are the two beautiful poems which the poet has written along with this poem. Now children, we all know about Winnie the Pooh. right we love the character we have seen all the episodes of this beautiful story and cartoon he was the author of this beautiful book about the teddy bear winnie the pooh and became so famous about it milne was a noted writer primarily as a playwright before the huge success of pooh overshadowed all his previous works so when he wrote pooh it became world famous and he is best known for his books about the teddy bear winnie the pooh and for various other characters in the same story so let's begin with the poem no one can tell me nobody knows where the wind comes from where the wind goes it's fly from somewhere as fast as it can i couldn't keep up with it nor if i ran but if i stopped holding the strings of my kite it would blow with the wind for a day and a night and then when i found it whenever it wherever it blew i should know that the wind had been going there too so then i could tell them where the wind goes but where the wind comes from nobody knows so the child is so curious that he would let his kite flow with the wind and whenever 
he f- he will find the kite he will understand where the wind traveled to but he will never understand or solve the mystery of from where the wind comes from children today we will be only doing about the reading of the poem okay we are not doing anything else we will read about the poet and we will read about the only reading of the poem so we'll read it once more no one can tell me nobody knows where the wind comes from where the wind goes it's flying from somewhere as fast as it can i couldn't keep up with it nor if i run but if i stopped holding the string of my kite like if i let loose my kite it would blow with the wind like it will go along with the wind for day and a night and then when i found it wherever it blew i should know that the wind had been going there too so then i could tell them where the wind goes but where the wind comes from nobody knows so children we will be doing the first page that is page number 55 of the lesson of the poem that is the wind is something we cannot see we all agree to it we can only feel about it 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 may be breezy it may be windy it may be stormy or, or anything we feel it like we love it or we feel little cold or shivery so it's all about feelings but we can definitely feel it yes sam is out with his pet dog bruno so who is sam sam is the one who is flying the kite and here is sam's dog who is bruno and there is a kite we have to color the picture children which is to show the wind is blowing we can already see the tree is little slanted both the trees so it indicates that the wind is blowing so children you will color this page this is the homework for you for today and you will just read the poem that's it okay next we will do the rest of the part in the next video that's all for chil- that's all for today children have a nice day and enjoy the poem